everybody, this is Tammy at All About Living. If you're new here, welcome. If you're coming back, thank you so much. Today we're going to have a half cheat, half homemade dinner because I'm lazy and I'm all about cheating sometimes. So what we're going to have is spaghetti alfredo with meatballs. So let's get started. All right, the cheat is the meatballs. Use any kind of meatballs you like. I just didn't feel like making homemade meatballs and spending 45 minutes in the kitchen tonight. We're gonna do a 30 minute, I'm gonna make homemade Alfredo and call it good. First thing we're gonna do is light the stove, get it on high, and get our water boiling for our spaghetti. Okay, I got two quarts of water in here and I want to liberally liberally put salt in here. I want at least three or four teaspoons of salt. So I want that water salty so that my spaghetti has some flavor. Okay. And I'm gonna put my lid on my pot so that water will boil faster because I'm about fast tonight. First thing I'm gonna do is cut me up an onion, a small, just a small Vidalia onion. We need to get this onion cut and we're gonna cut it really fine. All right, my onions are done, and now I'm going to crush four little cloves of garlic. All right. Set up. All right, my water, I can tell by the steam, is boiling. Oh, yeah. So it is time to add my pasta. And I'm going to do it just like that. Then I'm going to do a little twisty so that it doesn't stick. Okay, we're good and boiling. We're going to put the lid back on it and it's going to come back up to a boil. And I'm going to give it about 12 minutes. Okay, now we want to get that garlic really fine. We're going to get us a medium-high heat, not super, you know, like just a nice medium-high heat. We're going to put that pan on there, center. Now we're just going to let this get hot, hot, and we'll be back. All right, my pasta is done. I don't even have to taste it. I can tell by the texture and the size of the spaghetti that we are ready. So what I need to do first, before I dump that water, is get me a cup of that starchy water and set it aside. Ouch! It was hot. Okay, now so that my pasta doesn't stick, I'm going to take this extra virgin olive oil and I'm going to take two or three tablespoons. 
and then I'm going to toss it. Now I'm just going to put that lid back on there and keep my pasta warm. Now my pot is hot, so we're going to come over here and put that Alfredo sauce together. All right, I got a third of a stick of butter. In we go. Hear that sizzle? We're going to let that melt. Okay, now I'm going to get my onions. I need to get my garlic up because my onions are translucent now and we're just going to drop those. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, the garlic is fragrant now and that's really all I want is just for my garlic to get fragrant. Now it's time to add our half and half. All right, and I do it by sight and by how much I think we need. Uh, so you'll just have to kind of watch and guesstimate. That looks good to me. And probably about a half a cup of heavy cream. Maybe a little more than a half a cup. The water, I took my starchy water from the spaghetti and we're gonna drop that in there. And then we're just gonna give that a stir and let it get warmed up. All right, I got my white cheddar here. And again, I do it all by side. Make sure you get it all the way around the pan. All right, now we're going to put our Parmesan. Give that a stir. You can use any kind of cheese as long as it melts and not stringy. I just prefer the white cheddar and Parmesan because they're not shrimp. Okay, I'm starting to get bubbles. I do not want bubbles. You don't want that to come up over a simmer, so we're going to turn that down to a good low. All right, we're going to get these meatballs in here now. I'm starting to get hangry. We're just going to drop those. Stir those up and, you know, check your package, but most of the time, store-bought meatballs are, are already cooked, they're fully cooked, so really, basically, we're just heating them up. All right, I've loosened up my pasta. I must not have had enough olive oil in there because they're kind of sticky, but I've got them loosened up now. I'm going to add that sauce and meatballs right over my spaghetti and I'm going to get all that goodness 
out of my pan. Now we're going to hit it tall. All right, there you have it. Half, half homemade, half store-bought, dinner in less than 45 minutes. I'd call it a winner. Y'all have a great evening. Bye.